You didn't write this? No. Walk us up in the middle of the night for this. Next time, send a memo. Where's Captain America? Bill and I aren't talking, so apparently he's not coming. He's in his room with his damn equations again. Crow, does that mean something? Are any of you familiar with the lost colony of Roanoke? No, I think I slept through that day in American history. But refresh us, Astro Girl. A colony from England disappeared without a trace three years after settling in 1587. The only indication that they ever existed was a carving scrawled on a tree. It consisted of three letters. C-R-O. Wait a minute. C-R-O. Those are the first three letters of the word crotch. What? It's late. This is the best I can come up with when I'm groggy. Maybe there's someone's initials or something, like a high score on a video game. The prevailing theory was that crow was a hastily scrawled, unfinished warning. The word Croatoan, a nearby tribe. Yeah. Okay, Crouton, right. It's all coming back to me now. Didn't the colonists go native or something? That's never been determined for certain. Well, that's fascinating. But I really have a wet dream to get back to. Hold up, Mr. Crabtree. None of us wrote this. There are intruders in the house. Time to break out Uncle Nasty. So it really wasn't any of you? Suspicious much, Little Red Riding Hood? If it's a practical joke, it's not very funny. Although it is interesting, from an analytical perspective, the colonists at Roanoke went nowhere, in a sense. They disappeared from history. Much like six unlucky souls I know. Well, if I spot any savage redskins, I'll make sure to set up a smoke signal. Good night. Hold up, Miss Bravado. What? Your graffiti there. It's written in lipstick. What are you saying? You wear lipstick. You sleepwalk? I didn't write it, Sergeant. I'd be happier if you did. I know. This means we have visitors. This in my open cabinet this morning. Is it from the Lost Colony too? It's old, but it's not that old. It's an edition of the New Testament, published 1870, London, England. Anybody fluent in 19th century English history? I'll Google it. Wait, we don't have internet access. Sometimes, Travis, I have no idea what you're talking about. That's okay, CB. Just keep on trucking. Wait, there's a note. It's old. It reads, Mary Celeste. That's a ship, right? Or it's a brand of frozen food I can never remember. Still, it's a ghost ship. The Mary Celeste was a British sea vessel on which a Portugal discovered on the ocean where all of her crew was missing. Another ship found her adrift some time later. Tea cup still on the dinner table, but no sign of anyone aboard her. It's an enduring nautical mystery even in 2025. So we're talking about another vanishing. Not a colony this time, but the crew of a ship. This is getting spooky. Somebody get me when Jimmy Hoffa turns up. <clears throat> so could the house intentionally be trying to confuse us? For what purpose? Why does it do anything? Maybe it's trying to teach us something. What, like a history of missing people? The house could be receiving a signal, input from outside, and interpreting that input for us in this unusual fashion. A small bitch in house gets weirder every day. Remember in the null zone, the ether is a medium conducive to mental transmission. We are all receiving input, perhaps unconsciously, and the house reflects that with these artifacts. So something outside the house is trying to communicate with us. And the house is manifesting that message as a Bible or graffiti? It could be an SOS, a distress signal. Or the house could be haunted. Perhaps psychometry would help. You mean we're mentally ill? 
not psychology, on the psychometry. It's a way to obtain information from an object by touch. Can you do that? I believe that was implied. May I? I can sense the waves crashing against a wooden hull. Vortex? A whirlpool in the clouds? Okay. It's approaching. Oh no. Are you all right? No, I don't believe so. Teresa? I'm afraid. I'm afraid I've gone blind. You can't see? No. My vision is gone. It went in a flash of light. It was a jumble, like static, playing out across my eyes. However, I am now convinced that the artifact is authentic, that it did indeed come from aboard the Mary Celeste. I believe it belonged to a young man. What he saw, what I saw, it frightened him. It frightened me? Indeed, the impression I felt was one of violation, like something that can't, shouldn't exist had come into being to pillage and steal from consensus reality. May I have some water? Sure. Hold on. I'll be right back. Come here, okay? I'm not going to leave you for a second until we figure this out. Well, I for one can't wait to get back to my cockpit and fly out of here. What did you say? Whoa. What happened? You just said something weird. Again. I don't remember what I was trying to say. Sounded like you thought you were a pilot. You said you wished to return to your plane. Am I? Are we becoming possessed? Maybe Mr. Clark would know. Arlo? Arlo? What's he doing? If someone could describe his behavior, He's in a trance. Or maybe a fugue. He's writing something. Automatic writing. It's another form of spirit contact. I'm not gonna write this. Why am I filling this cardboard? Here, let me see. U.S. Navy, TBF Grumman Avenger, 1968. Lieutenant Cameron Crabtree. Crabtree. Is it Travis Crabtree? What the 
hell is this? Where did you get it? I got possessed. Oh, why doesn't that surprise me, Linda Blair? And what does Yuri Geller here think about it? I believe it is precisely what it appears to be. Some kind of personal relevance to you, Alice. Well, Mother Jugs and Speed, I'm really not in the mood, and I don't find this the least bit funny. Was your father in the military? In the Air Force? He was a pilot, so what? Did something happen to your father? None of your beeswax. Teresa's gone blind, Travis. This might help. It happened when I was little. My father went MIA. The control tower lost radio contact with his plane. Where? Near Bermuda. The Bermuda Triangle? Oh, come on. Some of you already knew about this already. It's an elaborate prank like your CRO. You must have been like two or three. I was four. What of it? That writing could be a message from a father you haven't seen in 35 years, and you're just... Listen, Strawberry Shortcake, I made peace with my father's death years ago. And I don't need you Ghostbusters reopening old wounds. This message fits the established pattern. Details of a third disappearance, a third inexplicable vanishing. Well, leave me out of it. Me and my dad. I don't think he's behind this. I think he's more shaken up about this than he cares to admit. What does that mean? What? You said something strange. For the nonce. No, I didn't. I said for once. Another attempt at communication. Utilizing us as vessels. Oh, no. No, no, no. Not me. I do not want this. We may not have a choice in the matter, Astrid. Please, try not to resist the impressions coming to you. I did you. Pray for me. Oh man. I feel the hectic fever. What's wrong with her? Astrid? Is that your name? Nay. It's Mary Cox. Were you... Are you at Roanoke? Why did none ring the passing bell for my self-safe passage? The temple of immensity hath taken me. Hath taken us all. It's been nigh on an eternity here, in the darkness and the black. The Temple of Immensity. She's talking about the universe, I believe. Describing some sort of state of captivity. Kill me! Kill me! <laughs> you alright? My god! What was that? What happened to me? You sort of went nuts, like I did. <sighs> These visions are growing more disturbing. You can say that again. Whatever the source, a living intelligence outside the house, perhaps? I feel the spirit, or spirits, are growing increasingly impatient for contact. Is there anything we can do besides let them take us over? We require a buffer between the spirits and us. My blindness, Astrid's hysteria, direct contact is too intense. We must dial it back. Precisely. A seance? No. We must resist this form of mediumship given the intensity of emotions we've just felt. Then what? I recommend we craft a spirit board. Attempt to communicate in a more formal, less intimate manner. A Ouija board? My good Christian upbringing forbade the use of those things. My father thought they were demonic. So I dig it. A Ouija is a simple tool. We could craft one with ease. Arlo, if you and Astrid would assist me, Sure. We also require a planchette, an item with a lens or something otherwise transparent. We can use my glasses. 
Excellent. We must also involve Travis. Why? If Travis has a personal link to these spirits, or one of these spirits, it's more likely they'll make contact. A Ouija board? Who are we going to talk to? Captain Howdy? We need your help, Travis. Your father? Leave my father out of this. Well, I guess you're right. Maybe you and Bill should sit this one out. You know, I think you two are more alike than you care to admit. Oh, no, 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 Red. I'll help out. If it'll do any good, I mean. So what do we do? Ask it questions? Precisely. If the spirits are open to contact, we shall hear from them. This is stupid. Play nice. What do we ask first? Permit me. Please, Astrid, no matter what occurs, keep your hand firmly placed on that friendship. Spirits who contact us, are you present? Yes. That was definitive. Maybe it was Casper the Friendly Ghost. You who contact us, what are you? L O S T. They're lost? Ask another question. Are you trapped in the null space surrounding the house? Yes. I wonder what they want. How may we assist you? K. I L L kill. Do they want to kill us? Or do they want us to kill them? I believe it is indicating the latter possibility you mentioned, Astra. That these disembodied spirits are seeking release from some sort of spiritual imprisonment. This is the second time they've asked us to end their existence. How do we do that? Can you ask them? I believe you just did. B I L L Bill. The spirits are telling us that Bill possesses the knowledge to destroy them, to end their suffering. T R A B I S Travis. Oh joy. Why did you spell out Travis's name? We didn't ask it anything. This is really creeping me out. T R A B I S Travis. I think we're making it mad. <laughs> Jesus. I remember this ball. My dad used to when we From what I can gather, the soul's trapped in the null zone. In whatever way they came to be here and desire to pass on. I sense a big butt coming. But apparently, one of them, the one who spelled Travis, feels he has some unfinished business in this life. I don't want to hear this crap. That's not my father. It's a stupid trick. Everything I have felt from these spirits seems authentic, Travis. I don't believe it. I just don't. Astrid. The spirit suggested we talk to Bill. I know right now your personal situation is less... I'll, I'll talk to him. But what about Travis's dad? I mean, he wants to... Talk to his son. Do you think Travis will do it? I'll deal with him, too. What? I'm sorry to disturb your privacy, but... I'm afraid we need your help. Looking to test another theory by jeopardizing my safety? Perhaps you could feed me to a help lower this time. The rest of us have already had our safety jeopardized today. There are ghosts in the null space around the house. Fascinating. I don't know the scientific explanation for what's going on, but Teresa says 
these ghosts have been pulled here from another consensus reality. They don't belong, and that's why they're haunting us. Well, I suppose I'd better take care of your little ghost problem. And when I've finished, perhaps I can take care of the leprechauns and the unicorns. Fine. Don't do it for me, but do it for them. for anomalous particles in the null zone and if necessary, neutralize them. What? Just set it by the front door and press both of these. Thank you. Oh, well, I didn't do it for you, did I? I did it for them. Yes, and we're all very worried about you. You don't look well. I'm fine. Is there anything you need? If you think you can solve this equation, you're welcome to join me. Otherwise, I'd appreciate some privacy. Can I come in? You're always welcome, Red. But if you're going to start slapping me around again, we're going to have to agree on a safe word this time. Does that help? Does what help? The jokes. The constant jokes. You keep everyone else off balance so they won't do the same thing to you. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do. Whatever there is between us, we understand that much about each other. Cut to the chase, cherry pie. I just wanted to say that I don't know what to believe either. The things that happen in this house baffle me 95% of the time. And? And the other 5%, this house, this damn place, gives us the opportunity to face things. You know what I'm talking about, what I did in the tub. I don't know if there are disembodied missing persons trapped in the middle space around the house, but if there's a chance, even a remote one, that you can say goodbye to the father you Whatever have... happened to my father, he isn't here. He went to heaven or wherever human beings go when they die. But his soul did not travel outside time to the end of the universe. Do you really believe that? Drop it, Red. Maybe you like to wallow in your pain, but I don't. But if you feel like giving some sexual healing, pull up an invisible chair and break out the whips and chains. Otherwise, you can go tell the other bugaloos I'm not playing any of their games today. All right. I just want to say one more thing. I'll never get a chance to reconcile with my father, in life or death. You should be counting your lucky stars. And how would it work if I agreed, Rapunzel? Would he write me Hallmark messages from beyond the grave? E.T. phone home? Arlo. He went to Arlo. No way. I am not going to that little Nimrod and getting weepy in front of him. Forget all that. You don't have to be afraid, Travis. We all understand. I said no, and I mean no. Got it. So will it work? I don't understand all the details. Something about scanning the null space for anomalous particles and neutralizing them. You know, Bill's quantum crap. So that kills them. Matter never truly dies. It merely changes form. If I understand, this ought to be the equivalent of a sensory lobotomy. Yeah, but does that thing have the range to get it done? He said just put it by the front door. I hate to bring this up, but has anyone thought? Has anyone wondered, is this the right thing to do? I mean, it is still sort of like murder, isn't it? These souls have requested our help. I believe we should demonstrate mercy in, in their suffering. Arlo, can I talk to you in the full game minute? What's up? I wanted to ask you a favor. Ask away. If you can, I want you to let Lieutenant Crabtree inhabit you again. Why? Travis needs this. He doesn't realize it, but he does. Travis couldn't do it for me. No. But once upon a time, 
He was a four-year-old boy who lost his dad, just like you did. Even if I said yes, I don't know how to do it. I think Teresa would help you if you asked her. All right. It's brave of you to do this, Arlo. I'm not brave. I'm terrified. These things blinded you, made Astrid go crazy. I understand. And yet here you are. People have been asking me for help a lot lately. Bill, you, now this. Does that bother you? No. I guess I just never realized that my friends... Needed you? We do, Arlo. As of late, it's been especially true for me. No. Permit me to prepare you. Who is it? What do you want? Someone wants to talk to you. Son, Travis, is it really you? I can't believe so much time has passed. It's good to meet the man you've become. Red, I told you to stay out of this. Don't be mad. She helped me. I've waited so long for this moment. I held on so long to what was left of me and made the others hold on too. I knew one day we'd be together again. I don't know what you are, and I don't really care. I have nothing to say to you. Go back to hell. Travis, you always were a stubborn little boy. It's me. Leave, and don't come back. Travis, come on. Get him out, Red. You should have never stuck your nose where it doesn't belong. Travis, I just wanted... Who cares what you want? Not me. I can see now it was wrong to confuse my son. I just added one hurt to another older one. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. I can see why my son loves you. Please be good to him. It's done? It's done. Thank you. Indeed. Ashley, would you care no. to? No. No, it's not my place. Very well. Anyone? Good luck. Do you think it 
it's close. I fear so. Otherwise, the spirits would not have migrated into the middle space. Then it knows. It knows what we did. And it may not be happy. 